Hello Aries, welcome to your monthly tarot reading. This is actually for the month of October. <laughs> Hard to believe this year is already coming to a close. Um, but it is. Um, this is for Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Um, you could be watching all three to get more information, get a bigger picture of the month. Um, and these are general readings, so please take them as they resonate. I'm beginning with the Angels and Ancestors Oracle. And then I will lay down the light seers clarified by um, the Celtic. And then in closing, I'm going to pull from the Sacred Earth Oracle. Let's see what Spirit has, please, for Aries for the month of October. If I can learn how to shuffle, okay. For the month of October, for Aries, please. And if you like the reading, hit that like button. Uh, share it with your friends. Leave me a comment. Let me know if it speaks to you. And of course, you can always hit that subscribe button or that notification bell. Let's see what we have, please. Spirit for Aries. For October. What does Aries need to know? What is your message to Aries? What uh, is coming in for them? What do you want them to know, Spirit, concerning this month? Here we go. Stargazer, set your sights higher. Mm, set your sights higher. Are you dreaming big enough? Are you, um, I'm going to look this one up actually and, and we'll see. Oops, passed it. Here we go. One more. Next one. Stargazer. Here we go. The message is. Go beyond your limitations and believe that the impossible is possible. You're on the verge of a miracle. All of your dreams and aspirations are within your grasp and you are being guided to focus on your vision. The angels who are with you are encouraging you. There's nothing that you cannot have or achieve. There's an opportunity at this time to heal an old wound or pattern of lack and not feeling good enough. In the past, you've often found it impossible to recognize your worth and to believe that you are deserving of blessings. Angel and Ancestor Wisdoms reminding you that you are an incredible and infinite spark of the universe. And the universe is not only within you, it absolutely adores you. You are talented, filled with strength, and have the abilities you need to turn your wildest dreams into reality. Set those sights. Set your sights on those higher things that you want to achieve. Don't play small. You have it within you to create what you seek to create. Let's see what we have from the um, tarot, please. What do we have from the tarot? For Aries. That is like a ton of cards. All right. I'm going to actually take these. I'm being told to take them. Here we go. Nice. All right. Looks good. The Emperor, step into your power, your authority is gain that spiritual insights. Set your sights on those higher goals. Look at the Nine of Pentacles, stepping into independence. The Five of Swords, a uh, little bit of mind chatter, some worry here. We have the Lovers here. What else do we have here? We have the Three of Cups. Let's see. We have the King of Wands, fiery, passionate energy. Actually, this looks more like, more like your energy there. And the Three of Pentacles, the teamwork, the collaboration. Placing right under the lovers. Opportunity here. And the Seven of Cups. Dream, dare to dream. Dare to dream. 
Um, get clarity on the vision. Make your choice. Dare to dream. All right, let's clarify this. Let's clarify this three of wands here. I keep forgetting I'm on this portable table and it's kind of wobbly. So my other one is gone now because we're moving. So y'all, there might be a week or two that I miss a weekly reading. If I do miss it, I apologize. I'm trying to get these out before we hit the road. We are moving. Okay, so on the Three of Wands, we have the Hierophant. We have the Page of Swords and the Empress. Um, came with the Hierophant. So there's a need to gain that higher perspective that spiritual understanding. We have the star, set your sights higher here. Um, dare to dream here. It's time to um, put aside your fears and take clear action uh, towards rebirthing this dream that you have. We have the, let's clarify the hierophant, please. We have the Eight of Cups, walking away from something. The Seven of Cups. Hmm, okay, yeah. We have the Seven of Cups on the bottom of the deck. And the Nine of Cups, the fulfillment, that inner fulfillment. Release what needs to be released. And focus your attention on the intention. Don't become distracted. Focus on the intention. What do you seek to manifest here? Um, what are your dreams, your desires? What brings you that inner fulfillment? Don't play small. Um, don't allow others to make you feel inadequate. Tap into... Uh, your higher wisdom, knowledge, understanding, knowing, your connection to spirit. We have the six of swords in reverse, a standstill. We have the four of pentacles, not seeing the abundance um, that is there for you. Okay. And then we have the world, the possibilities that are there for you, the blessings that Spirit has for you. Step into your power. Step into your power. Take the time um, to really see things. Open your eyes to the possibilities. Nine of Pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. That was kind of uh, sideways, so we're going to put it up right. The Three of Wands, again, following your passions. And the Knight of Swords, taking that decisive action, not hesitating. Nine of Pentacles, confidence, building that security, independence, and on the wheel, again, we have, she's pregnant, birthing something new. This is the beginning of something new, following your heart's desires, your heart's guidance. Um, where is it leading you? Where are you being led? Listen to that guidance and take action. Don't get caught up in this. It's five of swords energy. The moon, yeah, do that inner work. Face the shadows, face the fears. 
let go of that mind chatter, um, those feelings of inadequacy, Queen of Pentacles, and step into confidence, security, that nurturing. What is it you want to nurture? You want to nurture that project. And the Six of Pentacles, yeah. Create that balance. Do the shadow work, do the inner work. Um, face the shadows. There's stuff, something that you need to walk away from, leave behind. Those old thought patterns, those old beliefs, they need to be left behind. You need to turn your back on that. Those things that keep you playing small. Set your sights higher. Gain that higher spiritual perspective. What is it that you are being led to create, to rebirth? This new cycle, new phase, putting an end to something, beginning something new. And universe creator is looking down upon you with favor. Be willing to put in that inner work, face this. Shadows, we have the Lover's card here, can we? We have the Page of Pentacles. We have the Magician. We have the Two of Swords. Mm, she's not blindfolded in this one. She can see. Open your eyes. See the truth of everything that's going on. There's a page of pentacles. It's an opportunity to invest in yourself, to invest in your future, your growth. The magician, things are in alignment for you. The resources are available to you. Make the wise decision. Take off the blinders, see things for what they really are, and make the wise decision. Whether this is about um, some sort of partnership relationship. Or some sort of relationship to something. See it for what it is. We have the Knight of Pentacles here with the Three of Cups. This, this celebration here. We have that slow, steady movement toward the goal with the Knight of Pentacles. Which, okay. In reverse, Ace of Swords. Maybe, um, there's some inaction here. Well, there was inaction up there. And the Seven of Swords. Okay. So where there's an inaction and things are not moving, Use that time wisely to gain information, knowledge, understanding, to strategize your next move towards this success, the celebration that you seek. Um, gain that understanding. We have the King of Wands here, very fiery, courageous, passionate energy. Your energy, Aries. This is um, because you're 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 fiery, and I think of Aries as being courageous. I mean, I know it's a lion. It's not lion as the Leo, but I see you as very fiery, courageous. You need to tap into that and move forward. The Eight of Pent Pentacles. Yeah, put in that work. Be willing to put in the work. The sun, shine your light. And the ten of wands, the end is near. The burdens is, is... You're almost to the end. You're so close. You're on the precipice of victory, success. Put in that work. Shine your inner light. Get back to that joy. This is all about collaboration. The 
Four of Wands, that's stability, security, happy home life. The King of Wands. Again, so that fiery, passionate energy. And then the Six of Wands moving forward in the victory. So the vic <clears throat> excuse me, the victory is there for you. The victory is yours. Um, be willing to put in the work, to do the shadow work, to address the issues, to leave behind what no longer serves you. Listen to that, that inner guidance. Listen to what your heart is telling you and guiding you in um, your situation, any situation, okay? Relationships, uh, in work, business, even your spiritual growth. Pay attention to that heart guidance. Listen to that. Move forward in confidence, with courage toward the victory. Put the time in. Time to lay down that heavy burden. Success is coming in for you. Don't play small. Dare to dream. What do we have for our closing oracle, please? Closing oracle, please. Space. We have space. Um, interesting. Space. Give yourself or someone else the space to heal, think, create, or contemplate. Hold space as a gentle, non-judgmental, and supportive presence. Nothing needs to happen instantly. Pull back, trust, and respect the boundaries and processes of others. Pushing for a result will not get you what you want in the long term. Choose your destiny and let others choose theirs. I like that. Choose your destiny. Choose your path. Choose from the heart. Listen to that inner guidance that is coming in for you. There is an opportunity here um, to follow the dream, birth the, the new project, something close to your heart. Yes. We have radio, ride, movement. Um, this is all about... Um, taking action and moving toward your intentions, setting those intentions and taking that steady movement in the right direction and fulfilling those and making it happen. Um, listen for that inner guidance. Listen for spirit. Don't get caught up in feelings of inadequacy um, or things that have been... Um, programmed in you from childhood or whatever, um, the influences of others that have been in your life, get in touch with your higher self and listen to that higher guidance. It will lead you in the right direction. There are good things in store for you here, Aries. Um, set your intentions and move forward. Set your sights higher. Thank you so much for joining me in this reading. Have a blessed month of October.